Okay, guys, well, it's been a while since I've gotten something like this, and um, it's not just this person, there's actually a couple of people. Uh, yeah, it's a Banhammer video, sorry. Um, but this is, I mean, and this is the deception that's going on out there, and it's people that are inventing things that the Bible doesn't say. Um, listen to these two comments from Marianne. Also, and it was on my Purim, could this be our time video? Also, I wouldn't share these hopes if I weren't so. Evidently, there's another comment I have to find. I uh, wouldn't share these hopes if I weren't sure we were nearing this last three and a half years, and we differ from most Christians who think that any day we get raptured. Well, you're not talking about us, because most of us, almost every one of us, believes in a pre-trip here, uh, up to heaven. No, this rapture is near the end of those last three and a half years before his second coming, but we, the true remnant, listen to what she's saying, and I'm going to show you where she's making the mistake. Watching and waiting for him as he commands us to do our promise to Revelation 12 and other places in the Gospels to be given wings like eagles to take us to our promised places of protection. This is somebody who believes in replacement theology because she's thinking that we're Israel. No, we're not Israel. Um, there's a remnant in Israel that's going to be saved and they're going to go down to the area in Saudi Arabia called Petra. I mean... Everything the Bible describes talks about it. They even built it thousands of years ago. No, that's not talking about us. That we're taken out of here before then. A.K.A., and I have another video planned tomorrow to show that. A.K.A., the wilderness where we are cared for, protected, and nurtured by angels for those 1260 last days. I even know and have known for years where our wilderness area is. And as of last week, he even showed me the home. Listen that's been prepared lovingly by its former owners just for us and others and the house number is 2862 was led to look up the meaning of this number come on you're killing me smalls you have you've taken so many scriptures out of context and combined them to make another doctrine this is not right there is no house prepared for us there is a remnant of Jacob in Israel when Israel comes under siege, they are going to leave when they see the abomination of desolation and they're going to run south to Petra and, and the Antichrist is going to try to kill them on their way there. God's going to protect them and he's going to protect them there because they need to be here to see what's happening. And from Petra they can. Um, no, this is completely wrong. Look, you've commented before, Marianne, and your comments were pretty nice, but this is way, way off. Like, way off. And out here she says, I get sick of the daily Facebook post singing uh, the Jews in Israel praise as the apple of God's eye, puke, give me a break, and begging people to pray for Israel, for God blesses those who bless Israel and curses those who curse Israel. Well, that's in the Bible. What's wrong with you? That's in the Bible. Give me a break. Paul made it clear that these verses now apply to the identity of Israel as anyone in Christ. For in Christ, there neither Jew nor Gentile people wake up. Wrong, 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 wrong. The church belongs to Christ. Israel, because God said in his scriptures he saved himself a remnant, Israel is still God's. They're, st they're going to be there in the millennial kingdom. This is a replacement theologist. You gotta go. I, I no, can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. That's wrong, 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 wrong. Evidently, you've got another comment somewhere around here. It's what it sounded like in your other comments. Just horrible, horrible, horrible misunderstanding. The kind of misunderstanding that person has—it's actually dangerous. So yeah, she's out of here. Okay. Um, Christopher Rene, I actually don't remember ever seeing you comment before. However, you put two links. I have my channel, my comment set up, and I'm not going to shadow ban you because you didn't, you didn't say anything nasty, or weird, or off. But um, you shared a couple of links. I have my thing set up so the links don't get approved right away. I have to approve them. I had somebody share pornography on my channel back in the beginning of 2019. Um. I'm going to delete this comment because I'm being honest with you guys. Where is your first clue something's wrong with this? It should be blatantly obvious on the screen. 
this thing right here. See that big coexist symbol there? No. No. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. They're taking this stuff and they're using it in place of the Bible. No. These books of Adam and Eve have never been proven to actually be written by Adam and Eve. They didn't write stuff back then. <sighs> the earliest books were written by Moses. They weren't written by any, any of them other people. But, no. No, this is wrong. You know this is wrong. You can't take this stuff. Here's a website, or a YouTube page. The Real BP Earth Watch. And there, he's doing massive teachings on this. You know, it's okay to use them for referencing material, to go back into them and look for stuff that confirms by the Bible, but you can't replace this stuff. You can't replace it with that. And I was going through to look into the comments, and it's like, whoa, these people are like all over this. I didn't even look at the names to see if there's anybody on my channel in here. But yeah, that, no. No, it, you can't use this to replace the Bible. But people are getting hung up in this Apocrypha because there's a bunch of stuff in there that's not biblical and not scriptural and not inspired by God that's making people feel good about themselves. Just read the Bible. If you don't understand something in the Bible, ask somebody. Keep reading it. Pray for revelation. Don't go to another book and then replace the Bible with it. And that's what happens with this. Probably why I wasn't led to go back to those other ones yet. A little bit at a time. But they're not important anyway. The Bible is. So you can't use that. Oh, no, that's somebody else. So I'm not going to shadow ban you, but this, no. Can't do that. All right, now this guy I am going to shadow ban. Guys, this is... And I actually had already blocked one of his accounts. This is Plowshares and Disorders. Eternally secured. Mr. Christian, you are both lying, expletive. Um, you both are now marked to be avoided. Well, you didn't quote that right, first of all, so you're a Nimrod. And then he puts this little link down there. Well, now you know why your comment didn't stay, because it got put in here because you put something in there that looked like a link. So, yeah, you're gone. I'm not going to deal with it. You obviously don't want to have a conversation because you're just railing. So, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to go to his channel. That's his channel. Of course, look who he's subscribed to. News Unit and Lisa Capelli. See ya. Don't block you. Bam. Done, done, and done. I'm not having these conversations. You're out of here. out of here. Done. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do this with these people. It's not going to happen. I'm so sick of this nonsense. Great. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to like me. But the scripture referencing is sound. The doctrine is sound because it comes from the scripture. There is no replacement theology here. There is no mid-trib rapture. There is no post-trib rapture here. We believe in a pre-trib rapture. So I have some subscribers who don't. That's okay. But to come in and start doing stupid stuff, no. No. Sorry. Not happening. <sighs> but see, that's that's what anybody who has a channel on YouTube, that's what they have to deal with. All the time. All the time. It's nonsense. To have people that think that's okay. You are marked you are marked to be avoided. Couldn't even spell it all the way out. I don't know why you had the problem with the, the word too. Didn't quote it right. And if if you're marking us to avoid us, why are you still coming to our channels and commenting? Hmm? Evidently you didn't mark and avoid. When I mark and avoid somebody, I don't go there no more. I'm done with you. Lord's got you. Yet they keep coming back. But there's a problem with them. They got a mental issue. So, ban hammer. Done. Tired of it. Don't like it? Tough. I don't care. My channel, my content. I do this the way the Lord leads me to do this. I don't do this according to what any of you. I love you all, but I don't do this according to what any of you suggest. Or any of you tell me, well, it would be nice if you did this. The Spirit tells me what to do. The Lord leads me into what needs to be done. I will not and absolutely do not custom tailor my channel for anyone else. That's going to hurt people's feelings and make them mad? Sorry, but I love all of y'all, but I don't do this channel that way. Because if I do that, then I constantly have to keep making adjustments to make other people happy. Nope. 
you're going to get the full counsel. You're going to get the easy parts, and you're going to get the hard parts. All of it, just like it comes out of the Bible. Plain and simple. Because I love you that much that I want to give you the truth. So, yeah. Ban hammer. I may find a couple of more in here. I don't know. i got to go through them. i got to go through the rest of the comments because i got a bunch of them. I had, had, I've been so busy, I haven't had time to even... I just now got through emails. Most of y'all, y'all are very supportive. Very, very supportive. And you guys get it. You understand how all this stuff works. And you get it. If you want certain things to go out there, put your own channel up. Do your own videos. But people see they don't want to do that. There's a reason why they don't want to do that. They don't know the scriptures. They're parroting what they hear somebody else say. It's shameful. And it's childish. Anyway, there's your little Banhammer video. Hadn't done one in a while. There was enough comments that it needed to be done. But that's just crazy. And that replacement theology, that is wrong, completely wrong. You have not read your Bible if you think we are replacing Israel. Because clearly, throughout the entire Bible, in every book, Israel always is God's. Always. We are Christ's. Israel is God's. Or read the book of Ezekiel. I'm about to do a, another video for uh, the Millennial Reign. And there's a bunch of stuff in Ezekiel talking about the millennial reign and the Jews' role in the millennial reign. It's not us. It's them. So where are you getting this idea at? From an idiot who doesn't read his Bible and doesn't know what he's talking about. Who's arrogant and thinks he's better than everyone else. Avoid his channel. So there it is, guys. <laughs> it actually has been a while since I've had something like that. But there it was. Y'all got to see it in all its grittiness. So the people that I shadow banned or, or blocked, you got a problem with it, take it up with the complaint department. His name is Jesus Christ. He's probably not going to like what, you, what you're saying and what you're doing because what you're saying and doing isn't biblical and it doesn't match what the Bible says that Christians should be doing. So how can you call yourself that and do exactly the opposite of what Christ told you to do? This is a problem. Not my problem, your problem. Because when you stand before him, how are you going to give an excuse for this? But Lord, look what I did in your name. Nope, doesn't work. All right. Whoa. Stupid internet's doing weird stuff. Okay, guys, I love y'all. Sorry you have to see that dirty stuff sometimes, the underbelly of being a YouTube minister, but it is what it is. You know, is. I'm not afraid to call out a name every now and then. It just doesn't bother me. I'm at the point now where sometimes these, some of these people need to be embarrassed to snap them out of their, their complacency and to snap them out of their uh, lack of understanding. Anyway, especially the hateful ones. I have no problem sharing them. So you guys saw a couple of names. You, know, you can watch out for those people. And that's why I do this, so you can watch out for those certain names. And, of course, anything Trap Town related, uh, there's tons of different ones that have been popping up. Block them, block them, block them, block them. Uh, the new one is, uh, what is it, the, co the Comical Canadian. Block him. Comical Canadian, block him. He's another one. All right, guys. See you in the next one.